All right, we're making our way around the farm with these linger grazing videos and my chicken flock and my coop, uh, we're here. We're here with the chickens right now. So we're gonna talk about what linger grazing for chickens is, what observations I have with the egg layers, what I what is in my head as I look at my chicken operation. And um, yeah, I'm gonna share that with you right now. All right, so we're linger grazing with the chickens right now, watching their chickeniness. Note that I had trimmed the grass maybe two weeks ago, but I haven't touched it, so it grew back to a uh, to a height that the birds seem to be doing just fine with. You know, it's a little short, but they're able to snap off grass, find interesting stuff, eat seeds from dandelions and other. You know, there's like. Some er it's a little early for plantain, but got some good, I got some decent forage going on right now. Now the things that I'm thinking about as I'm linger grazing with my chickens, there are three 55 gallon drum water tanks right here uh, in the inside of the coop. And that hose is the remnants of what used to be uh, waterers with a float valve. Kind of want to put that back in because right now I'm carrying water out and dumping it in this 10 gallon tub that we use for their winter water. Um, so to be able to scale my, my chicken water situation, I'd have to get those drums hooked back up. This rooster always crows and comes over when I start shooting on camera. And this is my good friend, Connie. She used to have no feathers on her neck because she was the low lady on the totem pole. And her, she, I looked, she looked like a pencil neck. So I started calling her Ticonderoga. And my friend Dan Hamilton said, why don't you call her Connie? And boy, did it stick. Look at this. Let's get a close up on this guy. So most of the things that I'm observing now with my linger grazing are actually uh, wishful thinking with my coop. We're experimenting with keeping the birds safe, with having the anti-hawk fishing line movable arm system. I want to upgrade my water. Uh, I've mentioned before that I want to put a best nest, a couple best nest boxes with the roll away nest boxes to keep the eggs cleaner so that I don't have to spend time cleaning eggs. And I have a small number of birds. This is the advantage of starting small or even having gone big, but scaling back to where I have enough birds where I can learn new things and try stuff out, but I don't feel overwhelmed with the sheer number of things that I have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So we hang some feeders underneath the coop. And this one, the string broke. So now that's a to-do list item. If I can't just tie it back up, I need to go get a new string, which is just the thing I have to do. When I'm walking around, I look at poop density, you know, because I have so few birds, it doesn't look like they have much impact. Like, look at the pigs. That's a bunch of impact. Look at the grass. Right there. Look at the grass right here. So I have, it's starting to thin out. The birds will start to scratch and make dust baths wherever they find a little patch of dirt and ground. They like the broadleaf stuff. Here's some, uh, I think this is goldenrod. And they are just itching for a treat. Everybody coming out and saying hello. So I look for the grass density. I look for the poop density. Am I stepping in a lot of poop or is it hard to find a poop? It's a very subjective measurement. Here's a little dust bath location. And you guys. You gals, gals, are due for a move fairly soon. So we're going to flip this camera back over. I'm going to say goodbye to y'all, but thank you for doing some linger grazing. So we're going to flip this camera back over, and I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Just here with my show-off rooster. Uh, so that was my chicken linger grazing, where I'm just making some observations, some plans, prioritizing... 
Like there's a bunch of things I want to improve on, but I have to prioritize them and then allocate time and resources, time also being a resource, um, balancing out the rest of my obligations for what I do on a day-to-day -day basis for work. Um, so with the rooster crowing and uh, me needing to start the rest of my day, I bid you all a fond farewell. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, I'll see you out in the field.